some interesting news is developing as it concerns the all-in event planned for September 1st from Chicago. Now, the first wrestler to drop out of the planned event uh, has just done so as Diana Perrazzo has withdrawn from the event and it's largely believed that she has done so because she's going to be competing in the upcoming second edition of the May Young Classic. Now, before we get to that news, however, I do want to thank everybody that has subscribed uh, to this YouTube channel. Closing in on 1,400 uh, people have done so, and that's enough to have crossed YouTube's threshold uh, so that we can apply for YouTube partner status, and we are just... Uh, waiting to hear back from YouTube on that. So thank you, everybody who has subscribed to this channel. If you haven't done so already, uh, please do so. Not only does it mean you will not miss out on any more uh, news or reports from Spoiler Free Wrestling, but you will help this channel grow and be seen by more people. Okay, so Diana Perrazzo sent out a tweet yesterday that's on your screen now saying it's been incredible to see firsthand what Matt Jackson, Nick Jackson and Cody Rhodes envision for pro wrestling. I am so sad. I won't be wrestling at all in, but my heart will be there September 1st. Now it is largely assumed that Deanna Perrazzo is going to be competing in the May young classic. The taping dates for that tournament is August 8th and 9th. So technically she should be free to take part in All In, except perhaps she will be signed by WWE at the tournament and she wants to keep her options open, so she is withdrawing from All In. Now, Cody decided to respond to Deanna's text and said, take one large step forward in the photo, referring to photos that Triple H regularly poses for with new recruits. And then Cody adds, he likes to make people look shorter than him. Good luck, D. Beat everybody. Run up the score. So, was Cody Rhodes taking a shot at Triple H with that comment there? In general, since leaving WWE in 2016, Cody has been generally complimentary of Triple H. Not so much WWE, but... Cody was fine with Triple H using the War Games concept, which was his father's creation, Dusty Rhodes' creation, obviously. But Cody did take offense to WWE's main roster using Starcade. So Cody and Triple H do seem as though they have a good relationship. Triple H and, and Cody's father had a good relationship in NXT. So this could be just Cody... Uh, taking a good-natured jab at Triple H, who may have recruited someone away from his event on September 1st. Now, Cody has dressed, addressed the idea of WWE signing all-in talents uh, previously. So last month, June 25th, somebody asked wrestling journalist Dave Meltzer on Twitter if he felt WWE was going to take any action against all-in uh, to try and sabotage the event or something. And Meltzer didn't believe that this is something the company was going to do. He wrote back, Nope, and tickets are sold, Meltzer said, responding to the all 10,000 seats that the Elite has sold to the event. Meltzer continued, All they can try, all they can do is try and sign the talent on the show and pull them. And most are under contract elsewhere past that date. Now, Cody saw this tweet and chimed in. And remember, this is just um, eight days ago, I guess. Cody saw the Twitter conversation and he responded, That's a possibility. Everybody has different goals. If your goal is to take a meet and greet style handshake photo, which Cody referenced in uh, his tweet yesterday, um, if your goal is to take a meet and greet style handshake photo and pretend to be excited about going back to wrestling school, that's your prerogative. So Cody taking a bit of shot at uh, a bit of a shot at NXT WWE's developmental system and Triple H's love of taking photos with new recruits. So most likely Cody knew that Deanna was going to be pulling out of the event by the time 
he responded to this tweet by Meltzer. Uh, Deanna is uh, speculated to be with Marty Skrull. Um, so it's uh, doubtful that Cody didn't know she would be uh, pulling out um, earlier than she did. Now, September 1st is going to be a big date, but so is this Saturday, July 7th, the G1 special in San Francisco at the Cow Palace. Cody taking on Kenny Omega for the IWGP Heavyweight Championship. We'll keep you up to date with everything going on in New Japan Pro Wrestling. Thank you once again to everybody who subscribed. Um, Your support for this channel is going to allow us to... Uh, continue making these videos for the foreseeable future. So thank you very much, everybody. I'm the iGuy from Spoiler Free Wrestling.